Right. The Xbox E3 2019 briefing. Okay. I'm apparently not live. I'm recording, but I'm not live. So, in case you're wondering if I actually streamed the Microsoft conference, I did. You're watching a recording of me reacting to the conference. But I'm not actually streaming it because Mixer are broke. Whoops. But here we are. Offline is the oldest and most efficient structure history has ever shown us. Scheduled scarcity we're starting is a with the outer, feature of outer wilds. The colony must never lose faith. That is what the board provides. Security in a senseless and chaotic world. This is Halcyon, the furthest colony in the galaxy. Proudly owned and operated by corporations. Everything we have, Certainly looks like out of everything wilds. we are, we owe to them. They are always with us. No one has ever gone against them. But a stranger has just arrived. Someone who's challenging the corporate war. Someone who's digging up their secrets. Have you ever been at the wrong place at the wrong time? Someone who could be a villain or a hero. Yep. Looks like this the bleeding stop. Absolutely the outer wire. Hope this gun serves you better than it did me. Which makes sense or considering they bought Obsidian, oh. the developer. Of, no, wait. Black Isle Studios, the developer of the game. Though it's not Xbox One exclusive. Fight that. Good luck. I suppose time will tell, but no matter who this stranger chooses to be, the Halcyon Colony will never be the same. No, wait, it was obscene. Oops. Probably held the. I was actually live. I can remember this stuff better. Oh well. The board. All their lackeys, they're all a bunch of swine. Please welcome from Ninja Theory. Ronnie Tucker and Dom Matthews. Except Ninja Theory and Bush. And their game got late. So, unfortunately, nothing too special. Because we already know what At it E3 is. At E3 2018, we announced that Ninja Theory had joined Xbox Game Studios. A move that has given us an incredible boost in achieving the creative ambition of our teams. We've started work on a number of new games at the studio. And in the near future, mm -hmm. we'll be sharing details on all of these projects. 
When we joined Xbox Game Studios, we already had a very exciting game several years in the making. And we're happy to return to E3 to share this with you. As creative director, I'm stoked to be here to share our new game with you guys. It combines two of my gaming passions, third-person action combat and competitive team multiplayer. Yep. That's definitely the Our technical the alpha is kicking off in just a couple of weeks. That's and we'd love for you to sign up, get involved, and tell us what you think. Or if you're here at E3, come and join us for a game. I really, <laughs> I really hope you guys like it. Check it out. This is Bleeding Edge. World premiere. Still offline. Of course. It's actually my first time seeing this trailer though. Like I looked at it a little bit when it initially got leaked, but it does look pretty cool. Not sure how well it would have done if it wasn't published by Microsoft though. This looks like Ori, which I'm pretty sure was here last year, so... Yep, Ori in the World of the Wisps. Parts of the first story game, so. Yeah. This is probably the point where they'll reveal a release date. Two thousand twenty? That's way later than I was expecting. Minecraft. Hmm? Minecraft. Specifically, a dungeon crawler spinoff, actually. Minecraft Dungeons. Announced a while back. Four 
player co-op dungeon player event. Another 2020 game, which uh, don't think they revealed much of it until now, so not as surprising. Please welcome the head of Xbox, Phil Spencer. Is that Psychonauts too short? I think it might actually be one. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We on Team Xbox live for this exact moment. The moment we get to share the best of our art form here with you in LA and the moment you get to experience breathtaking new stories, new worlds, and new heroes for the very first time. This moment isn't just about finding some new games, it's about discovering your new games. This decisive moment of discovery is etched in your gaming history, alongside your every achievement, your every moment, your every new friend, this is why we on Team Xbox are always and will be dedicated to unleashing the next new games for you to discover and love. So whether you're one of the thousands with us here in Microsoft Theater, <laughs> or one of the billions around the world who play games, welcome to E3 2019. This right now is the single most creative and energizing time in gaming history. Yep. Games and gamers together now have the sheer magnitude to be a significant unifying force for the world. The expanding universe of gaming has opened a new era of creative possibility. With more games, more creators, and more industry players than ever before. And gamers were everywhere. In under two decades, the number of players in the world has more than tripled. Over two billion of us now play games in every region and on every continent. And with new technological leaps, we get to play whatever we want, with whomever we want, and wherever we want. On Team Xbox, every decision is guided by our belief that gaming is for everyone. My team and I are single-minded in our resolve to bring everyone the games they want, to connect everyone to play with the friends they want, and to empower everyone to play wherever they want. This is why we keep innovating hardware and services. It's why we're uniting communities through crossplay, and why, it's why we're investing with new distinctive creators. Above all, oh, wow. they actually gaming got is for you. Sign language this is why we scour the world for That's your neat. next new games. This today is the largest showcase of games on any stage, anywhere this year. Today, from the thousands of games in development across Xbox One and Windows PC, we're highlighting 60 games for you. Including 14 games from Xbox Game Studios and over 30 games premiering in Xbox Game Pass. Pretty sure the Game Pass games have already been added. In addition to showcasing all of these games over the show, we'll also announce 
what's next at Xbox Game Studios. Of course. The next Sharing concert. our expansive plans for streaming, and of course, revealing more about our next new console. Also club stuff. So thank you for joining us today. Let's jump the in. The stadia thing already happened, so... Okay, starting with Jedi Fallen Order. Ready to do this? Hey! Who are you? Got a name? It certainly looks pretty good. Cal Kestis? Sogarero. I'm here on Jedi business. Jedi are dead. Not all of them. A Jedi. We have to stop them. I was really expecting an actual gameplay trailer though. The Jedi! I was expecting a gameplay then. Hope is not yet lost! Yeah, I'm okay. You alright? No, we are not doing that again. World premiere. Spooky world premiere. I recognize this. Organizing a search in the Black Hills forest. Okay, Bullet. Let's find this kid. Wait up, Bullet! Bullet! Where am I? Something about this seems familiar. <laughs> West three, maybe. Let's go. Wait, one thing that's popping into my mind. Who are? Okay, bullet. Let's find this kid. Okay, a Blair Witch game. That's an odd announcement to me. Woo! Cyberpunk! Nighttime Cyberpunk. At that. Since a lot of people got mad at the original trailer having taking place mostly during the day. Vim 
my man. You made it. You blowing up all over the news. Are you alone? I just want the money. You got the chip? All right, start her up, bug. Why don't you go to the bathroom, wash up, we gonna be with you in a minute. Wow. Oh, come on, man. Your neck, it's a mess. While hotel security has yet to comment, we do know the suspect seems to have fled the scene. Super cool. Initiating combat mode. Go! Destination confirmed. Woo That's what I'm talking about! All right! In and out! We're rich! Oh, we are going to the major are leagues, Jackie! Out swearing? In an 18 plus stream? Oh, oh s. No. <laughs> what? No, 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 no. Okay. Get to a clinic now. Mr. Wells' condition is critical. Go away! Immediate medical help. Okay. Is required. Just, just hold on. Just. Hey, hey, just think about all the good that we're gonna have, huh? I'm sorry. Yeah, you can totally have a dude bleeding out, but saying bullshit? Perfect. Not okay. What a weird issue. Also, I like how the doors, the door sound effects, like, ripped out of dude. It's that same stock sound effect. Just take the f chip, Dex. Every corporal cop in this city is gonna be blasting down these doors after what you and your psycho friend did. We didn't need all this tension, damn it. Eighteen plus stream. Release dates. Not now. Wake the f up, Samurai. We have a city to burn. John Wick? What? Did they literally get Keanu Reeves in the games? How's it going? <laughs> the rumors were that they were getting Lady Gaga in the game, but nope. Kinu Reeves. Yeah. All right. Good to see you. Thank you. All right. This All is right. amazing. I gotta talk to you about something. <laughs> I mean, we gotta talk to you about something. CD Project Red. Cyberpunk 2077. All right. A while back, the guys from CD Project Red approached me and asked me to be a part of their new project, Cyberpunk 2077. They were going on and on about how they'd create this I love game world with a branching so much. storyline, how you'd be able to customize your character through in-game choices. And it's not something I knew before, but I was excited by. And I'm always drawn to fascinating stories. Yeah. I'm really upset that I couldn't do an actual live stream of this. Punk. Is wow. in a metropolis of the future, this is really something. Where body modification has become an obsession. 
You play as an outlaw, an enhanced mercenary working in the sleazy underbelly of the city. Yeah. <laughs> okay, but let me tell you, the feeling of, of being there, of walking the streets of the future, is really going to be breathtaking. You're breathtaking. <laughs> You're breathtaking. You're all breathtaking. All right, all right, all right. So I guess I got to finish this, so tell me. Do you guys want to know um, when there's uh, when it, the release date? Obviously. Yeah. Please tell all me, right. Keanu Reeves. Then check this out. Ready now? Whoa, hey, easy. Mr. Hansen, am I right for the job? Okay, I'm in. You have gone through to the other side. Yeah. Let's do this. Yep, April 2020. Huh. I mean, it was rumored that it probably wasn't making 2019, but still. I was World expecting premiere. them to announce it for this year, then delay it later. But now it's time for friendly boat game. The exact opposite of Cyberpunk 2077. The game's actually called Friendly Boat Game, though, fortunately. But if it actually has a boat in the towel, that would be pretty incredible. Spirit Fairer. Battle Toads. Hand drawn Battle Toads. Super slick. Three D tunnel, turbo tunnel. Oh boy. Bootleg Dragon Quest theme. Always a good sign.
Seriously, this looks really cool. This is a pretty amazing concept for a game. Rag time the legend of rights. I think that's what it said. Here we have an indie sizzle reel. Everything's coming to Game Pass now. I'm not sure I'll tell Lack you're about. Good life! Sorry! Pretty sure Killer Queen was a Switch exclusive. Until now. Undermont? That sounds familiar, actually. Undermine. Xbox Partnerships, Sarah Bond. Not to be confused with James Bond. All the ID at Xbox games you just saw will premiere on Xbox Game Pass day one. At Xbox, our passion is to help you find and play the games that you love through creation, curation, and discovery. The ultimate expression of that passion is Xbox Game Pass. My team travels the globe, seeking out fan favorites and hidden gems and crafts partnerships with their creators so that you can discover your next favorite game. Mind-blowing experiences epic adventures, and iconic characters, all for you to explore. It has been awesome to see the record-breaking success developers have had in Xbox Game Pass, introducing their games to new players and creating lifelong fans. Since launch, we have tripled the number of partners in Game Pass, adding more games from more genres, platformers, RPG, adventure, sports, puzzles, and more every single month. And of course, every Xbox Game Studios title you see today will premiere in Game Pass day one. We are thrilled to announce new titles coming to Xbox Game Pass on console today, including Batman Arkham Knight. Yep. This I'm Metro pretty Exodus. sure it was already like, confirmed before the conference. <laughs> Hollow Knight and Borderlands The Handsome Collection. <laughs> Amazing games that you can start playing today. Our mission at Xbox is for you to be able to play any game with anyone, anywhere. And we know for many of you that means PC. That is, this is why. Also already announced. Last month we announced Xbox Game Pass mm -hmm. for PC. The PC version of Game Pass already available now. Today, the Game Pass journey on PC begins. Now. PC players can discover their next favorite game with Xbox Game Pass. 
we have curated over 100 games just for PC, including favorites like Emperor Rome and Football Manager 2019. Okay. And for the first time on PC, starting with Halo Reach, the entire Master Chief Collection. Nothing super special there. Considering that also Woo! was already announced a we while ago. We are thrilled ago. to share that Xbox Game Pass for PC launches in open beta today. Oh, open beta? Whenever you're ready. I just thought it was like done. Adventure Exodus is a pretty odd choice, considering it was supposed to be an Epic Game Store exclusive. So I'm assuming in this case, the deal was probably just to prevent the game from being on Steam. And they might not consider it. Epic might not consider it as part of the terms for the exclusivity deal. It's a pretty solid lineup, though. So. Xbox Game Pass for PC is here now. Try it out by downloading the all-new Xbox app on Windows. And if you want it all, we have created a membership just for you. Xbox Game Pass Ultimate. Game Pass Ultimate. You get everything. Xbox Game Pass for console with over 100 great games. Xbox Live Gold, an unrivaled gaming community. And now, Xbox Game Pass for PC at no additional charge. And because it's E3, everyone can jump in and play today for one dollar. Now go discover your next favorite game. World premiere. Well, if it's in 4K, this should be interesting. It doesn't sound so interesting. Because it might be always online. Well, this might not even be a game, actually. Simulator, or, or rather, Microsoft Flight Simulator. You now I think about it. I believe this is the first time it would be on a console. Actually. Microsoft Flight Simulator. Do you remember a time when armies were built and Age powerful cities collapsed? 
when the smallest of choices echoed through the pages of history. It was an age of empires. Of course. I think there already was an enhanced edition of Age of Empires 2. I guess they decided to do a remake of that remake. Razors? I see you at a donkey's age! Welcome to beautiful Colorado! Home to the Purple Mountains Mastigy! Of the Rockies! Okay. Hike through colorful canyons! Get up close and personal with a wild and woolly wild life. Sample home-cooked delicacies! Eat where the locals eat! Visit Colorado Springs! There's so much to see and do in this post-apocalyptic winter wonderland. A bit lost. Meet new people. Make new friends. This... Colorado has is colorful characters and friendly faces uh, everywhere you look. See our beautiful airport. And don't forget to pick yourself up a nifty souvenir. So don't be shy, Colorado's waiting for you. <laughs> first round's on me, uh, first round's on, on you. Oh, Wasteland 3. That tripped me up a bit. Please welcome head of Xbox Game Studios, Matt Moody. Games are at the heart of our mission. Over the last year, we added seven new game development studios to Xbox. Yep. Uh, it's there's fantastic more coming. to see some of these studios already sharing new games on our E3 stage, and there's more to come. I have the privilege of working with some of the best studios around the globe. And for me, great studios are about people, teams, and ideas. Our success comes down to one thing, creating great games that players love. And great games come from great developers. That's why I'm honored today to announce that joining Xbox Studios is Double Fine Productions. Okay, that's why Phil Spencer was wearing the Psychonauts T-shirt. Double Fine has been a beacon of creativity and spirit in game development for almost 20 years with classic games like Psychonauts, Brutal Legend, and Broken Psychonauts Age. Psychonauts actually started out as an original to Xbox Double Fine exclusive. Joining Xbox ironically and enough, what we create but together. They, I Please believe join what happened me was they retooled the, the game from its and initial plan, and Microsoft lost interest Tim in Schaefer. publishing it. Thank you so much, and thank you, Matt. We are so excited to be joining Xbox Game Studios, and I'm here to personally reassure you, Matt, I don't know what you've heard, but I'm a team player. Whatever you need from Double Fine, we'll make for you. Uh, Halo stuff, uh, Forza stuff, Excel stuff, whatever you want, we are there. Yeah. Tim, we just want you to make great games. Oh, that's such a relief, because I was totally lying. <laughs> In that case, we brought a brand new trailer for Psychonauts 2. Take a look if you dare. Kind of odd to see this is technically a Microsoft IP now. My name is Raz. And today 
is my first official day on the job. We're on a mission. Rasputin? I'm on him. Looking for me? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> Mia, the mission is falling apart. We've lost control of Lobato. I put the old egg in the box in the basket in the basket. <laughs> No! I won't tell! I won't tell anyone! I promise! No! Please! <laughs> World Premiere Star Wars again? Oh, Lego Star Wars. Kind of an odd announcement to make in an E3 conference. Also kind of odd to see them making another Lego Star Wars compilation game, considering they already did the complete saga many years ago. And the third Lego Star Wars game had some levels based off, I believe, the second movie. So... Kakarot. Also, in Bandai Namco announcement that World they did leave. Premiere. You want to guess what it is? Hmm. Is it 12 minutes? This is an outfit for a newborn. You bought it this morning. You wanted to surprise me. I'm sorry. You're pregnant. You know? I know because you already gave it to me. This has happened before. What are you talking about? What's going on? Someone is coming. He's going to hurt us. He says you killed your father. I need to know what happened. <laughs> Why are you doing this? My father died. Died of a heart attack? No, I, 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 I didn't have anything to do with... Any second now, he's gonna knock on that door. Help me. This isn't happening. This can't be happening. Police, open up. That's him. Did you call the police? We have a warrant. Please open the door. I didn't do anything. We're here to help. Don't listen to him. I'm your only chance. 
Open the door, right now! You know me. I love you. You have to believe me. Stop! No. You're under arrest. No. Hey! <laughs> You're home. What are you doing? Are you okay? friendly Friendly bump into everything simulator. Here's five. Music video? It's just a music video. Is there actual gameplay or is this the whole trailer? No actual From the coalition, gameplay, huh? please welcome studio head Rod Ferguson. Thanks everyone. We're excited to announce that Gears 5 is releasing on September 10th. And if you want to play four days early, you can with our Ultimate Edition or membership in the newly announced Xbox Game Pass Ultimate. With Gears of War 4, we wanted to earn your trust. But with Gears 5, we want to push the envelope by doing new things never seen in a Gears game before. And we'll tell you all about it this summer. In July, join us for our Versus Multiplayer Tech Test, where you'll be one of the first to play our all-new competitive game type, Arcade. In August, at Gamescom, go hands-on with the all-new Horde mode and see how character abilities can turn the tide on the battlefield. In September, we return to the biggest Gears campaign ever, where we'll explore more of Kate's harrowing journey and celebrate our launch on September 10th. But what are we talking about today? 
Today, it's a brand new way to fight the swarm. In Escape, you play as one of three hive busters. You and your squad infiltrate the hive, plant the bomb, and escape with your life. Because we all know that best defense is a good offense. It's everything you love about Gears turned up to 11. But first, we gotta blow up the whole convention center. This might look like a surrender, but it's not. It's an invasion. <laughs> This music doesn't fit at all. I'm going to assume one of these people was listening to this on like their headphones or something. That's probably the canonical explanation for this. Hope you enjoyed your taste of escape, an aggressive three-player co-op experience, perfect for your living room couch. But it's not just about busting hives. You can build them, too, and challenge your friends with the experiences you create. And tonight, join me on Mixer as we challenge these three WWE superstars, Xavier Woods, AJ Styles, and Tyler Breeze, oh, to survive a gameplay deep dive from right here in the hive. For these at home, for the next two days, you and your friends can play in select Microsoft stores. So good luck out running the swarm, and we'll see you on the leaderboard. Oh, and for anyone who pre-orders or plays within the first week, we've got something special just for you. Wait, there's still War Gears 5? I feel 
like they've done enough trailers for it already. Okay. A Terminator crossover. This is probably the Elite Controller. Yep. Not really sure how you make a sequel to a game controller, but Microsoft just did. Dying Light 2, which is supposed to be at the Square Enix conference too. When my which father said a bad life, sign. Told me never to forget who I am, where I come from. Because it might mean that they're going to be showing the same things. But in this place, nobody even wants been to already been shown in previous conferences at that conference. Because when darkness comes, I might be gone. Virus tore society apart, but I won't let it turn me into an animal. Staying alive became the essence of our existence, yet life must be more than just survival. Every day the disease tries to crush us and make us forget who we are, but I keep fighting. My name is Aiden, and I am Oh infected. no. Aiden? Like Aiden Pierce? Really? World premiere. Of course, they brought a car on stage. Why am I not surprised? Wait, Lego cars? Lego cars. That's great! Shocking considering Horizon 3 had the Hot Wheels for it. But still, this is a great idea. Please 
please welcome Ralph Fulton. I didn't even notice the car was made of Legos until now. Combine McLaren's passion for design with about half a million of Lego's legendary bricks. You get this incredible life-size Lego Speed Champions McLaren Senna. Combine the beauty and freedom of Horizon with the playful fun of Lego, you get the Forza Horizon 4 Lego Speed Champions expansion. You will drive this Senna and more LEGO Speed Champions cars in an entirely new world, packed with inventive new challenges, new areas to explore, and loads of bricks to smash. The Forza Horizon 4 LEGO Speed Champions expansion launches this week. I'll see you there. Here's a pop. <laughs> I guess. Okay. State of Decay 2, already released game. Just an expansion. Not really interested. My mission, find the father I never knew. My mission, find a hero I've never met. He hasn't radioed in days. He hasn't been seen since the outbreak. The last time I heard his voice. The last place he was seen was in Trumbull Valley. Valley. I've only heard whispers. I've only heard legend. Of unseen horrors. Here, we are the many. Here, we can become stronger. For so long, I was just surviving. Now people are counting on me. This is where my story could end. This is where my story could begin. I thought we had seen everything. We ain't seen nothing yet. Pretty interesting if I was actually interested in the game. World premiere. Sega? Fantasy Star Online! They did it! They finally did it! I don't think it's been like five years or six years since it came out in Japan. And they announced the Western localization all those years ago too. Wow!
They really did it! What an incredible exclusive. Those of you who have played Fantasy Star know that this game had influenced many of the most popular games today. So with great delight, we welcome Sega back to our stage and Fantasy Star back on Xbox. As we said, our goal on Team Xbox is to bring you the world's best games. Meeting with developers, playing their games, and introducing you to their games, these are the best parts of my job. Back at E3 2017, when I first met with the creators of this next game, they shared their ambition to bring their massively popular game with its passionate community of 650 million PC players to the entire world. Hmm. I'm happy to announce our partnership with the legendary team at Smilegate. Their approach to game design demonstrates I don't think anyone in the West would recognize them. Next year, you'll discover the newest entry in this landmark franchise. On console, for the very first time, only on Xbox. This is Crossfire X. World yeah, Crossfire. Premier. Rimini's supposed to be making like a single player campaign for one of these Crossfire games. Not too sure what happened to it. But eh. I think it's a pretty basic FPS otherwise. Free to play one, rather. Really, not an announcement Western folks will probably care about. World premiere. This is the Tales of Game that got leaked, isn't it? Pretty sure it is. Tales of Arise, I believe. Already forgot the name. Rise up.
Yep. Tales of Arise. That probably means the other Bandai Namco announcement is next. Or not. There are six sirens. Just borderlands. I used to be one of them. My name is Lilith. And I need you. Either Borderlands 3 or the final final DLC for Borderlands 2. Which the latter got leaked. Definitely Borderlands 3, actually. proposal for them. There we go. This is the Borderlands 2 DLC. <laughs> Available now for free. Not available on the Xbox 360 and PS3 versions, though. World for Okay, this is the other leaked Bandai Namco announcement. From Software X, the guy that wrote Game of Thrones. I doubt you could even imagine it. That's the title of the game, Elden Ring. Elden Ring. Shattered by someone or something. I'm going to assume Don't there's probably no gameplay in this trailer. It. Look up at the sky. It burns. No gameplay. Probably a 2020 release. Or 
Georgia snow release date at all? Please welcome back Phil Spencer. From multinational studios to one-person passion projects, thousands of Xbox games are in development for you right now. Just today, we showed you 60 games. We are now experiencing an unmatched expansion of creativity on Xbox. Gaming for you means connecting all of these creators to all of you. Last fall, we announced our ambition to empower everyone everywhere to play by bringing Xbox to the cloud. We will do this in two ways through Project X Cloud service. and through console streaming. Two months ago, we connected all Xbox developers to Project X Cloud. Today, we invite those of you here at E3 for our first public hands-on of Project X Cloud. Yeah, that to experience the freedom to play right here at the show. And you'll have two ways to stream. There's a new platform feature, console streaming. It turns your Xbox One into your own personal and free xCloud server. Whether you're using a console in our data center or your console at home, this that October, actually seems like a really you'll cool be able feature. to use our hybrid gaming cloud to play your games wherever you go. Where you play is now entirely your choice. You decide. So let's talk about our next console. Mm -hmm. Next console. For us, the console is vital and central to our experience. We heard you. A console should be designed and built and optimized for one thing and one thing only, gaming. Yeah, so the same team that created the world's most powerful console, Xbox One X, and innovated its groundbreaking processor and the Elite controller, the same team that engineered the world-class compatibility of today's Xbox One consoles, the same team that set the bar for live gaming services with Xbox Live, this same team set out on a new mission to create the future of gaming for you. When we think about the future the console, of gaming, aren't they? it's not just PC, it's not just console, it's not just mobile, it's really all of the above. Xbox is all about choice. We're investing in technology all throughout the game stack. The games you want with the people you want on the devices that you want. And for us, that starts with our next generation console. We don't want to build just another console. We truly want it to be transformative. More immersion, more exploration, more detail. So how do we make it easier for people to get into the game, to stay in the game? One of the things that gamers and developers are incredibly excited about is reducing load times. I'm an RPG gamer, and so like loading screens are a thing. Oh, You're sitting there in the fake elevator because you know that again. the game's loading in the background. This is just an elevator ride forever. The That's our goal with gaming, is that you don't have those this generation is going to be a bigger leap Sony's than any generation we've done before. Playing to do it with the PlayStation 5, so now At they're the trying to do it. our next generation console is our custom design processor, leveraging the latest Zen 2 and Navi technology from our partners at AMD. From a pure processing perspective, this is four times more powerful than the Xbox One X. We're leveraging high bandwidth GDDR6 to ensure that we're getting the best performance possible. It's going to usher in resolution and frame rates that we've never seen before. Like, never seen before. We're looking at frame rates up to 120 frames per second. 8K capability, variable 8K. refresh rate. Next gen ray tracing. No. It's real time because it's hardware accelerated not for the right first now. time ever. What I'm personally most excited about is the SSD. We've created a new generation of SSDs. We're actually yep. using the SSD as virtual Same RAM. Same thing. We're seeing more than 40 times performance increases over the current generation. 
the combination of the SOC and the solid state drive are really what gives you a totally new experience. Now we can take all of that power and apply it back into the scene. So we can actually generate more life in that world and bring it to the gamer in a seamless way. So that then you're fully experiencing what the game developer wants you to experience. When you can move through worlds without waiting for screens to load, that speed, that performance is what the next generation is about. This is the most immersive console experience ever. What we really want to do is give developers the power to build the game they've always envisioned. We have hundreds of people across both our first party studios as well as our third party studios working on those next generation experiences today. It's an amazing commitment to content at Xbox Game Studios. 13 studios, seven in the last year. That's a big family. At 343, for us it's always about more seamless worlds with the next generation, we can bring the world to life in a way we've never experienced Halo before. We're delivering four generations of content better than you've ever seen them before. Yep. This console is especially awesome for Game Pass members. That's actually with the faster cool, load though. times, you're going to be able it's to experience all the games within just the snap of your fingers. With, we're giving all gamers Xbox the option consoles. to connect across devices and across platforms in a way that we never were able to before. This isn't just a console launch. This is about the future of gaming. Your games, your achievements, your progression, your accessories, your console gaming experience with Xbox, it all comes forward with Scarlet. Project Scarlet, huh? It eats Holiday monsters for breakfast. This is Project Scarlet, the most powerful and highest performing console we've ever designed. Built for creators to unleash their boldest creative visions and optimized for players to enjoy the ultimate gaming experience on a console anywhere. Immersive experiences begin at the very heart of the console, at the silicon level itself. Together with our partners at AMD, we have co-engineered and custom designed a state-of-the-art processor for Project Scarlet. Power you could see defined previous generations. Power and performance you can see and feel defines Project Scarlet. When we talk about freedom to play, when we talk about Xbox in the cloud, when we talk about streaming your games, Project Scarlet and all of its power and all of its performance is the foundation of our future in console and the formation of our future in cloud. We launched Xbox 18 years ago with a game reviewers called the definitive Halo. reason to own an Xbox. Well, because humanity was and is worth saving, next holiday, we will launch Project Scarlet with Halo. So that was the first next-gen game all along. Halo Infinite. Pressure building in lines 4, 17, and 33. Pressure building in lines 4, 7. Protocol accepted. Breach detected. Daddy's listening. Can you say hi? Hi. And how big are you? I'm baby. Can you tell Daddy how big you are? Are you so big? So big. <laughs> and can you sing? Good singing. How about I miss you? The toy's gonna be that. And I love this you. 
Mommy, not Mass Dude, Mommy, is actually Daddy. Master Chi. Mommy, Daddy. And I can't wait to see you. So that'd be pretty can wild. Can you see you? See you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. UNSC Pelican Echo 216. Can you hear me? This is UNS. Oh. Master Chief died. The end. Looks like the main power cells are fried. Auto shut down. Triggering survival mode. I'm going to try to override. Okay. If you can hear me in there, I hope you're ready. Please don't die. Please. Master Chief dies twice. Die. Chief, I rerouted what little power I had into your suit. Hmm. Looks like there's a problem with the servos in your hands. Stay calm. You've been out there a while. I know I saw something in here to check your armor's diagnostics. there, big guy. You're not... Status report. Status report? What? There's something you need to see, Chief. We lost. Lost everything. There's nothing left for us here. I don't think we're here is. Well, why is it called Halo Infinite then if they lost everything? <laughs> they as well call it Halo nothing. nothing. Not again! We need to run! No. We need a fight. Get ready. of interesting announcements to be honest. Aside from Cyberpunk, that was really cool to see.
the, the Lego cars were pretty cool too. And also, the surprise reveal that Fantasy Star Online 2 is finally coming to the West. Done. Fortunately, I couldn't that I couldn't actually stream it properly, but hey, at least I got a recording. So probably do a not possibly not stream of the Nintendo Direct. But I don't think I'm gonna do like all of the conferences like I did last year if the stream's not gonna work properly. So see you in two days.